This is a small village in the district of Shikarpur in Sindh province. People from different walks of life live here who rely mainly on agriculture, livestock and other small businesses to earn a living. Khalid runs a thriving tailoring business thanks to the purchase of a new sewing machine. Ghulam Muhammad is happy too as he lives in a concrete shelter which protects him and his family from extreme weather. But this wasn't always the case with these men. Khalid and Ghulam Muhammad were amongst the 20 million people affected by the devastating floods that hit Pakistan in 2010. Immediate response by the Pakistan Red Crescent Society through its relief and early recovery operation provided 1.9 million of the most affected people with tents, winterized shelters, safe drinking water, emergency health services, food, seeds and fertilizers. The waters receded in a few weeks, but the miseries of the flood-hit communities did not. These communities struggled to restart their lives. After assessments, the Pakistan Red Crescent Society launched an integrated recovery program in the provinces of Sindh, Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. The program reached out to 39 communities across six districts with interventions in healthcare, water and sanitation facilities, construction of shelters and reviving livelihoods. The aim was to help these communities rebuild their lives and gain resilience towards future disasters. The program established village committees which was integral for those involved in the planning and implementation of each intervention. To help them earn a decent living, the Pakistan Red Crescent Society provided cash grants to 4,412 families and trained them in using this cash to sustain their income. The beneficiaries opted for various local businesses such as crop farming, animal husbandry, grocery selling, tailoring business and donkey car transportation to name a few. To lessen the agony of those left shelterless, the Pakistan Red Crescent Society provided 2,534 families with flood-resistant shelters equipped with latrines. The beneficiaries were first trained in safe and sustainable construction techniques and were then given cash grants to purchase the construction materials and build shelters. Another milestone of the operation was the assistance provided to landless farmers in securing occupancy of these shelters for a period of five years. For this, a legal agreement was entered into between the farmers and the landlords. This recovery program also provided community-based health care in 23 districts in the provinces of Sindh, Punjab, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Gilgit Baltistan and Balochistan in close coordination with the district health authorities. Preventive healthcare through mobile and basic health units provided 727,000 people with first aid kits and mosquito nets, nutritional screening of pregnant women and children, immunization sessions and regular household visits by trained volunteers for health and hygiene education sessions. The 
तेमें मुखे आने अलाज उकमा सा आने जटा खन हायम तो मुखे तकलीफ दूर थी या थोरी Water and sanitation interventions served over 48,300 people with clean drinking water through the construction or rehabilitation of hand pumps and water supply schemes. To sustain the process, 140 villagers were trained to ensure maintenance of these structures in their respective communities. मेरे दो बच्चे हैं जो छोटे हैं उनका बहुत ही ध्यान रखती हूँ ख्याल से ताकि वो बीमार ना हो सके इसलिए पानी उबाल करके हम घर में डाल देते हैं ताकि वो बीमार ना हो जरा सी वगैरह जो भी हो वो बीमार जाए इसलिए Pakistan Red Crescent Society also trained the flood hit communities for disaster risk management in case of future disasters. These trainings educated them to evacuate in time and communicate well during a disaster. Village committees were supported to build networking with local authorities while small scale projects such as construction of bridges were undertaken by 13 vulnerable communities. हमने बहुत सीखा है रेड क्रॉस की ट्रेनिंग को उससे कि रिकॉर्ड कीपिंग कैसे की जाती है नेटवर्किंग कैसे की जाती है इधर उसे रबते कैसे किए जाते हैं किस वक्त अगर हमें किस चीज़ की ज़रूरत है तो पहले हमें इनिशिएटिव क्या लेने चाहिए उसके बाद रब मुख्तल इधारों से कैसे नेटवर्किंग बनाएंगे By mid 2013 with the support of IFRC the Pakistan Red Crescent Society assisted a total of 2 million people through this operation The Pakistan Red Crescent Society today stands with improved and new capacities to provide considerable support to existing humanitarian needs as well as future disasters.